This morning we look at the importance of evaluating your business idea to explain how and why. Dr. Tom Cooney, lecturer in entrepreneurship and marketing in uh, DIT or at DIT, joins us. Good morning, Tom. You're very Good welcome morning. back. Now, uh, evaluating your business idea, you automatically assume that if a person's going into to business that they, they have a good idea. But I suppose the thing is they think they have a good idea. So yeah, that's one of the problems, it has to be Mark. put to the test, doesn't it? Yeah, I think one of the problems with any entrepreneur is they believe that their idea is the best idea that, that anyone has come up with um, for, for some period. And we were talking on the last occasion about the need for planning and the need to go through that process. But you need to sit down and work out the maths on this one. You need to sit down and work out, okay, if I put X amount of money in, okay, what am I going to get back out of it? And one of the big problems I find is that people come to me and say, look, I've spotted a gap in the market. And my question always is, but is there a market in the gap? Is there something there that's sustainable over a long period of time? How do you find out whether that's the case? Interestingly, the, the word market research is, is, is thrown up. And immediately when you use market research, people think, oh my god, it's scientific. It's, I've got to do kind of a lot of difficult maybe techniques, focus groups. No, it, look, it's talking to customers. It, it, it's, it's more or less that simple. What, what, are you, like, what information are you trying to gather? You're trying to find out information about yourself, your customers, uh, your competitors, and the environment. But if you're just starting out, Tom, you won't necessarily know who your customers are or where even to go and find them, will you? But then it, that's part of your problem with right. your idea, isn't it? Yes. Because if you don't know who they are, then, then you know, who are you targeting? And, and part of the planning process is to find out who your customers are and how exactly do you target them most effectively, let's say. Okay, we, we've a, just a point there on the screen. Talk to customers, not your friends, because your friends will tell you that it's a great idea, won't they? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, one of the problems I found in the past is people have done their market research in the pub. Okay, so they're sitting in the pub having a drink with their friends and saying, I'm thinking of starting up a business. Uh, I'm thinking of doing the following, what do you reckon? And the friend, trying to be supportive and encouraging, says, well, you know, I'd buy one off you anyway. And, and based on this extensive research, they go off and start up their own business. Mm -hmm. And I, like, I'm trying to get people to think about what they're doing so that they don't lose their money. You know, let's be sensible about this. One of the things I say to people on Start Your Own Business programs is, you're going through a process here. At the end of the process, you're going to come out of it with a business plan. And at the end of this process, maybe the decision is not to start up a business. I mean, because, because there's not a market there for it, or maybe the opportunity isn't right, you know, the timing isn't right. And that makes sense to me. Like, don't do, don't do, like, we're trying to reduce risk here, and we're trying to improve the rate of success. So if you go through the planning process and it's not viable, don't do it. So that, that feeds into that, obviously. Ensure the opportunity is sustainable, because you may have a very good idea, and, and it may be, say, a very good idea at Christmas. But for the other, say, 10 months of the year, you might not be able to give the stuff away or whatever it is you're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, again, one of the problems we find is, is that people have a great idea. But it's a great idea for, for, for the now. Uh, now, if you want to go in and make a fast book, we say, if you've got Christmas trees, okay, and for you know, a four-week period, you sell Christmas trees and you make nice money, good for you. But if you're looking for a long-term sustainable company, then obviously you need more than Christmas trees. And like one of the things I talk about is the Del Boy School of Marketing, you know, like, like for only fools and horses. It, it's, it's like th that type of idea. He's, he's all the time having to go back to find new people to con, new products to, to try and flog. And no, no, look, look there's, there's other ways of doing business that are far easier. Mm -hmm. hey, how do you get your, it all goes back to the, to the good idea, mm. or the, good, the idea you think is good. Where do you go? to have that idea evaluated, and that you can be sure, sure that that idea is secure, that somebody else won't go, hang on a second, this is a good idea, but I've got better contacts in the bank, I've got more money, I've got more muscle. And because you quite often hear people saying, oh, I had a great idea, somebody robbed it. You raise, you raise two really good points. Um, the first one is that, uh, how can I be secure and that this is a good idea? You can't, uh, in that like, there's no perfect idea, uh, there's no guaranteed success. And one of the things we were talking about on the last occasion was a gathering of information to help you reduce risk, but you can never eliminate risk. The second thing is entrepreneurs, potential entrepreneurs, are, they believe everyone wants to steal their idea. Like I would meet a lot of potential entrepreneurs and they say, I got this idea, Tom, what do you reckon? 
uh, I want your opinion on it. And you ask them, they say, well, I can't really tell you the idea because they don't trust you. Look, I hear that many ideas. I don't want to set up you know, all of these businesses. Um, and and in, the, like, in the vast majority of cases, other people don't either. Now, if you really want to protect yourself, then you can get a contract, a uh, confidential contract, which is pretty standard, which if I talk to you and we discuss an idea, you can't use it. They're very standard in, in, the, in the business world. Um, they're easy to come by. And if you're really afraid, uh, then just get one of these. One other thing here, just what I think about, is if you bring your idea into the open and sell it or present it somewhere, you can no longer patent that idea afterwards. So if you've got a good idea, patent it first and then see if what it works. Yeah. Okay, thank you very Cheers. much. Thank you very much. Now after the break, we'll